Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. This is a game which I have played before. It's a game that I love very, very much. Um, and it is a bit of an older game as well. Uh, this game, I believe, came out in 2013. This is actually the first Telltale game I ever played and made me fall in love with the company. That said, I don't think any game has ever matched Wolf Among Us, including uh, The Walking Dead. I'm not a. I've only played the first season. wasn't the biggest fan. It was good, but I think this one is much, much better. If you guys have never played this game before or ever even heard of it, first off, shame on you. This game is amazing. Uh, second. So, okay, this game is based off of a comic series called Fables. And what it is, is what if the fairy tale uh, characters of like Snow White, uh, you know, the Huntsman, the, uh, the Toad from like Toad Hall, the Three Little Pigs, the Big Bad Wolf. What if they got kicked out of their Storyland universe and into the real world? and had to contend with real-life issues. Sounds weird, I know. But believe it or not, uh, the first series that, that came out, like the first few issues that came out, was actually a murder mystery. This game is dark. Well, the series is dark. It's gritty. And it's more for adults than it is for kids. And you'll, find, you'll soon find out why. <clears throat> All right, so um, one thing I want to mention, the reason I'm playing this is because finally, finally, there's news on the horizon that part two is going to be coming out within the next year or so. Um, part two was initially announced in 2017, uh, I believe right before the shutdown of Telltale Studios. But slowly, it's kind of gained momentum again, and we literally just got an update like a few months ago saying the like part two is still in the works, and it's going to come out fairly soonish. Uh, I don't know about this year, but possibly next year, quite most likely next year. So I wanted to revisit this game, and again, for those of you guys who have never seen it, I wanted to introduce you to it because. Again, phenomenal story. And if you guys have never ever, if you guys have never played a Telltale game before, um, it's very much a, uh, all their games are a choose your own adventure uh, type of thing. Like uh, it's one of those games where like decisions matter, like a lot. Um, where it can even change the outcome of the story. It can change whether. You know, certain characters live or die. It changes whether certain characters view you in a good light or a bad light. That kind of thing. Um, I don't want to necessarily say the game strives on replayability. It kind of does. But generally, you play these games once and you're kind of sticking to that version. Because there is no real canon um, to the story. It's basically the story that you create. Which is why I would like Walking Dead. I think it went on for three or four seasons. The choices you make, you know, carry on to the next seasons. Um, same with uh, Batman. The, the Batman Telltale series, which which was okay. First season was better than the second, but regardless. So, we're playing Wolf Among Us. And honestly, the less you know about the story, the better. Like, the the quick summary I gave you about the Fable series is all you really need to know. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So, um, as I said, I have played this game before. No. Change save file. Let's do... Let's do a brand new one. It's been a while since I've played this. Like, as you can see, 2022. Um, and if you're watching this in the future, it's been two years since I played this. All right. Episode one, Faith.
The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> You know, say what you will, I still like the aesthetic of the cell shading look. And the neon really, really works with this game. It's it's just gorgeous. It, it's and it's very much a noir story too, which which really helps. Tenema Building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Toad 51 Barreto Street. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my heart. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Why is he so pissed? So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. All right, here we go. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Good parenting right there. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Alright, okay? right, so let's take a look at the matchbook here. Let go! Hey, 
Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Fall. Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Ah! Alright, alright. Let's get this over with. We're gonna knock on the door. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! All right. Calm down. All right, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You gotta calm down. Had enough? A fucking challenge. All oh, right, the throat. Uh, let's do the bed frame. Right, that's it. Calm down. Oh, we still got to keep going. No, I'm not going to use the bottle. We gotta do this. Back off, asshole. Oh shit, he's got the axe. Should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. What happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? You alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> oh, that had to fucking hurt. Oof.
<laughs> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh... Get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, God. I can't press Q fast enough. We're met. Well, I think we're meant to lose this one. Or not. See how our eyes went yellow? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll tell you. You fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Oh, yeah. So I just wanted to say, like, he's got an axe in his head. He's not dead, yeah, because fables are actually immortal. They can't die by conventional means. Um, I mean, I'm sure if you lop off their heads or something, yeah, but he'll be fine. They're like cartoon characters, basically. You could drop an amber on their head and they'll fucking be... A, they won't be an accordion, but they'll be fine. They'll have broken bones, but they'll mend. Anyways. <laughs> Lighter cigarette. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. And the huntsman's gone. Or woodsman, rather, not huntsman. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. 
He's got nothing to give, Sheriff, I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not gonna be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. <laughs> Which was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be <coughs> fine. Give her some money. Let's see, I've got uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay? I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. That's the intro to the game. Just look at that aesthetic, man. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. So, yeah, as you can tell, um, we play a guy that... Uh, that his name is Wolf, Big B Wolf, and he's uh, basically the big bad wolf from uh, from the fables that you've read. Whether it's Red Riding Hood or the Three Little Pigs, he is that wolf. And now he's the sheriff of Fable Town. Um, Fable Town is yeah, like the the area where all the different fables live, right? And again, they're trying to hide from the public, uh, from the public eye. So the Woodland Luxury Apartments. So unfortunately, this is one of those games where I won't be able to really talk about my decisions as they happen because there's a time limit. Like you can see, like the the counter going down uh, for the most part. So um, the way I like to play this game is um, I I generally play him like strict but sympathetic, you know, and especially. Cons because we're a fucking sheriff, right? Uh, strict but sympathetic. Like, our job, in my eyes, is to basically look out for the people in Fable Town. You know what I mean? Um, as Our history as the big bad wolf, it's influ it influences uh, how a lot of the different residents see us. And, you know, we're all in a bad place right now. Everyone is broke. Nobody has any money, that kind of thing. So we're all looking out for each other. And it's our job to make sure that we stay safe and connected as a community. That, again, that's that's the mentality I'm going into playing as Big B. So I'm actually going to call it here uh, for this first episode. Um, 
I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed what you see so far. Again, it's right the start of the game. Um, I know we kind of went for like the the girl, but um, again, this is I'm I'm trying to clear all the meta stuff from my head because I know how the story goes. But uh, I'm just playing the game how I would want to play it, regardless of what I know. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I'm really curious about what different decisions you guys have made uh, in your own playthroughs, if you have played the game, or what you think of the story so far. Um, and uh, as the story goes on, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what is going on. Um, it's it it's really I love hearing like diff people's different opinions on stuff because again this game will get dark. You would not think it uh, looking at this game, but again it gets very dark. At some points it even gets graphic. Like you saw, like a fucking axe to the head is no joke. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to playing the rest of this game. I hope you guys are too. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.